Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dina and I'm here today to talk to you about teaching multiple grade levels and kind of figuring out how you're going to manage your class period. So when I was a homeroom teacher, it was a lot different because you have the same group of kids um, all day long and if something takes a little too long, you can always do it later in the afternoon. You can roll over with your minutes. But when you are a special teacher and you're teaching for a set period, like 35 or 45 minutes, you can't just roll over because the next class is already at the door knocking to come in. So it's a different um, situation and it takes a little bit of getting used to. What I found most helpful is to create stations. Stations allows me to do a little bit more in my STEM-based classroom. I'm able to teach my students different skills and then have them rotate around. So if I want to do a few different things at the same time and I don't have all of the options available, stations are a great way to manage your time and manage your supplies. It's often difficult to find, especially when it comes to STEM and building, enough materials for the whole class to do something, for example, robotics. So if you only have two classroom bots, you can split that up into two different stations and the other students in the class can be doing something else at the same time. So I use a station rotation chart that I can put digitally so that my students can follow what we're doing and I always set up a timer and that allows them to know how much time is left and when the time is up. This is also really helpful when I'm teaching a new skill. So if I want to show the class a new robot or a new building material, I will often start with something easy like Lego that they're used to and I will make one station the robot or the skill that I want to try, animation, something like that. I will be able to work with that one group and I know that the other groups are okay on their own. So this gives me a little bit more flexibility. So you can see that the station chart is an easy way to create either printable pieces or digital pieces depending on your environment. I hope this tip helps you today. Let me know in the comments below how many students and grades you teach. I teach about 300 students every week in grades kindergarten all the way to fourth grade. If this video was helpful for you, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you get notified on any future videos. I'm happy to take requests on different things that you want to learn too. Have a great day!